So one of our first events will be held on Saturday 31st of July, which will be a charity Fiverside Beach football tournament at Sandy Bay. Um, and this would be in aid of prostate cancer. We've just set up our social media groups and we've set up the event and we're hoping that once we promote this event, we'll get loads of people um, joining us um, and seeing as there hasn't been a football tournament at the beach for quite a while, we hope that this will, will pick up some momentum and it will be quite fun for the youth. And hopefully we can all together as a community raise some money for prostate cancer, which uh, personally holds a, a very um, strong value for me. And uh, plans as well for discussions and talks uh, to involve people uh, on political issues in the future? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we certainly have plans to, um, to get like, young people engaged and hold potentially debates and talks and, and yeah, just get young people into politics in Gibraltar, which I think is a, is a big issue. You've mentioned disillusionment, that many young people are disenchanted with politics in Gibraltar, something that we've seen with the recent abortion referendum where even though 16 to 18 year olds had the chance to vote, very few of them did. What do you think can be done to change this? I think, um, yeah, part of the problem is that Gibraltar's kind of binary political system is, is very stagnant and, and, you know, it's easy for a young person to feel jaded in, in a political situation that they feel they can't change, maybe. So I think Together Gibraltar um, is, is that perfect platform to get particularly young people engaged and you know, I think they, they put their money where their mouth is. Like, for example, like we, we sit in at their general meetings to make sure that we have a say in, and can influence the party so that they have that youth voice, for example. Just as a youth group, we've um, decided and we've, we've been working on a number of resource documents that we'd like to put out to a lot of the youth um, and hopefully work with the, the schools in the, in the future in order to put out these sort of posters and PDFs and we'd be putting them on our social media. And that's mostly just for political education and getting people involved in some matters um, uh, that really affect them. What sorts of topics will we be focusing on? So stuff would be like housing, how to get on the housing mm -hmm. list, on their financing, um, stuff like mental well-being, uh, sexual mm -hmm. well-being, who to contact, where to, who, where to go, uh, what sort of portals they have, who they can speak to, um, in terms of using their voice for certain, for certain matters and discussions amongst the community, who, who they can actually contact to, to get their points across and to have an answer for things. And are you optimistic? Are you keen to see more young people get involved in politics through to go to Gibraltar? Yeah, no, I definitely think um, I definitely think we will. I think Gibraltar's kind of progressive nature will definitely attract a lot of people in, in our demographic. And yeah, I think this is a perfect platform for people to join if they if they want to affect change and, and feel engaged in, in our community. I'm really enthusiastic. Um, and after meeting with the group and having meet, met with them on several occasions, um, it's just we always we always leave quite. Um, enthusiastic yeah. to, to continue our work. We have fun too. Yeah. <laughs>